What is up guys, it's Kiwek here, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Sun After Game Let's Play. Last time we caught UB05, and we are now done with all of the Ultra Beasts. And today, I said we were going to go to the Battle Tree, I kind of changed my mind. We're going to get a few Legendaries if we can. Um, starting with, surprisingly enough, Cosmog. Um, I do, I have looked it up at this point in the game, and at this point in the uploads. I'm just going to be looking stuff up, because I'm not going to sit here and hunt down every single legendary on my own, because I'm never going to find them all like that. So we're going to do that. I still don't know anything about the battle tree, though. I have not looked the battle tree up at all. I have not, uh... I have not, uh... Blah, 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 blah. I haven't really looked up any of the legendaries' battles or anything like that. I just looked up where to find them. And the only one I really learned was Cosmog and one other. But I was super excited to hear that you actually can catch Cosmog. And surprisingly enough, you actually can evolve Cosmog too. Will I go there? Yes. You go into the distortion world. This is what you gotta do, if I remember correctly. And this should theoretically... Yes, it, it is literally a portal to Pokemon Moon. It is literally a portal to Pokemon Moon. I don't know if, um... Hold on. Hold on! No, I doubt it. I was gonna say, can you do Pokemon Moon stuff? I think this is literally only for Cosmog. And to get the time change and stuff like that in both games. Um... I think it's in Ula Ula Island I gotta go. Yeah, right there. And now we have to go to Lake of the Sun. Because it should be there. But that is actually pretty interesting. I didn't know this part was gonna happen. That we actually just transported into pretty much Pokemon Moon. Because now it is daytime in my game. That's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. That might be something to look into. I think I'm going to do some research on that for sure. I think that's the only real change, though, with that portal. I doubt they're going to give you other exclusives and stuff like that. I would have heard if they did do that. I would have heard on YouTube or something somewhere. But all right. So this place, no matter what game you play, is always the opposite of what it was last on, on the other game I should say and I guess the only use for this place at all this lake here that we found a long long time ago only use for it is to get Cosmog but all right and then we just walk up here and so Galeo suddenly roared towards the sky Another Pokemon appeared from somewhere. So now we have Lunala. What is going on? And it is Cosmog. Do I have to catch it or... Do I have to take Cosmog with you? Yes. And now we have Cosmog. All right. According, I'm pretty sure that Cosmog, though, here actually evolves just into um, Solgaleo since it's still Sun. So we'll just have two of them. And then I guess I could technically trade one. Just a psychic type. His body is gaseous and frail. It slowly grows as it collects dust from the atmosphere. Um, you know what? I wish I would have known I was getting this way back when because I would have named this one Nebby and the other one something different, but... Um, I'm gonna just name this one Kyle. <laughs> I'm just gonna name this one Kyle. Kyle the Cosmog. Alright, uh, do I want Kyle? What level is Kyle? What level is Kyle? I don't know what level he evolves at, but he's level 5 and all he knows is Splash. Okay. We actually are going to add him to the party just so that he could get that experience, share levels. Alright, uh... I'm going to take out... 
I'm gonna take out. I'm gonna take out Zerka Tree. I already have an electric type with uh, Tapu Koko. And Donkey is just good. Donkey is such a good mod to have, even with a team full of legendaries. Donkey still comes through. And now I'm gonna go set my game back because I feel weird. I don't know. Should I? Should I even set my game back or should I keep going? I'm gonna see something here. We're gonna go see if we can get Tapu Bulu right now as well. Um, uh, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. There is a lot of mods here. A lot of legendaries. If I can get all three of the Tapus this episode, the ones that are left, that would be pretty dope. I'm assuming that just changes the day and night cycle, though. That's all it seems to be doing. Alright, I'm kind of confused. As to how this puzzle is going to work. Stop, stop, stop! Oh, wait. This one's easy. All I have to do is push this one forward and I can go around it. Yeah, those two at the beginning of this room were literally pointless. Alright. And now, just run in here. And theoretically, we should be able to encounter Tapu Bulu. You reach out and touch the statue. And there it is! There it is. I guess the legendaries are not roamings. I kind of expected the Tapus to be roamings, but I, I guess not. Tapu Bulu is here. Alright. Level 60 instead of... What level? No, it was... Was Tapu Koko 60? I don't know. Um, I don't think it's Zen Head, but it will kill. Okay. And we got the flinch. What did he just do? Is the terrain healing him? Yeah, the, the, the terrain seems to be healing him. That is odd. Uh, I mean, he's still an ultra ball at it because I don't really know what else. I can't. I don't want to hit it again because I think it'll die. Oh lord, this is gonna be fun. Now oh, he's using Zen Headbutt. I, I don't see why, but he is. Alright. Is that just the entire terrain here heals you? What an odd thing. What an odd thing. I don't know why I'm I'm honestly blown back. I am kind of surprised about whatever is going on right now. I don't understand whatsoever. <laughs> I don't know what type this thing is either. I do not know what type Typo Bulu is at all. Come on. I thought Tapu Bulu was going to be my favorite. But I, I think Tapu Coco is my favorite. If I'm being truthful. I've seen all of these guys. I remember some of them better than others. But I've seen all of these guys. Alright. Oh, alrighty then. Um. I would hit him with another Zen headbutt. But you see, I didn't save. I didn't save before recording. Or before catching this thing. And I don't want to deal with it. What did he just do? He just raised his defense after I crunched, of course. If you would have done that before, I would have been comfortable doing a, um, okay. I would have been comfortable using, using Zen Headbutt. But now you're in the red, so, I guess it's as good as we're going to get, right? Wish we had Hypnosis. That would come in really handy right now. No, oh my god. Yeah, you are going to bug me. Alrighty, let's keep using Zen Headbutt. I'll be, I'll feel better. After this, what other? Um, we have the one from Mele Mele Island, so we have this one, the one from Akala Island, and the one from Pony Island. I really want this one to just get caught though, cause um, 
I want to move on with my life. Please. Let me move on with my life. Can you let me do that, Tapu Bulu? I have money, though, so I need to buy more Ultra Balls I can, too. I just remember that. That looker gave us one milli. One million dollars. All right, Nebby's dead. On to, um, on to Guzzlord. On to Guzzlord. 413 HP. My lord, you absolute monster. You absolute monster, Guzzlord. You know who did have hypnosis that I literally just took off the team for the sake of Cosmog? Zerkatry. I just remembered uh, that hurts. I am a dark type. And that thing has Mega Horn. Oh well. Come on, Tapu Bulu. I don't even know how to commentate things like this when it happens. Like, all this is, is me throwing balls and then not working. And it destroying my team in the process of this not working. And it's just kind of annoying. Just a little bit. Just a little bit annoying. I don't know why legendaries are like, I know why they're hard to catch, but they, as hard as they are, it is just so ridiculous. I still have my Master Ball too, but I feel like I know who I'm going to use that on. There's only one Pokemon who I feel the need to use it on. And that is Magikarp. Just kidding. Just kidding. We're not using it on Magikarp. I really thought that was it. I wasn't going to say anything because I felt like that would just jinx it and make it not be it. But it wasn't it anyways. Alright. Um, next up is... Uh, we'll just... I'm not going to send in Kyle. We'll send in Buzzwool. Our buff beetle. Or a buff, whatever you want to call this thing. You're not a beetle. You're like a, a freaking mosquito. Um, the other one, the one from Moon, looks like a like a beetle. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All righty. Alrighty, we're gonna be here a while, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be here a while, ladies and gentlemen. One. That's all we're ever gonna get, isn't it? Got that two once, and they said that was enough. I love it how literally everything he does, he flexes. Everything he does, he flexes. When he gets hit, he flexes. When he attacks, probably flexes. I don't know, I haven't really attacked him too much. Oh, I'll try here when he gets hit. Watch him, watch him flex. Look at the flex. Alright. Please just get caught, Tapu Coco. Tapu Bulu, Tapu Bulu. My bad. My bad. Oh my lord. We're getting close to like 30 Pokeballs. Why did you wait so long to use that? Are you running out of PP? I swear, if you're running out of PP... And you start struggling and you kill yourself. Oh boy, that would be quite the day. Okay, no, you still have PP. See, that is the problem with legendaries. If there was no such thing as struggle, I would get it needing to use 100 Ultra Balls on a Pokemon. I'd be like, all right, that's whatever. I mean, it is, it is a, uh, it is a legendary Pokemon. Maybe, maybe it's for the best if you need to take a long time to catch it. But no. They kill themselves, and then you're like, oh. Wow. Such a great experience you've given me. Such a great experience. I... I don't get it, man. I don't get it, man. I don't get it, man. That did exactly half. Oh, yeah, I feel like Nature's Madness does exactly half. I feel like that is what it does. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Dude, this is so annoying. This is literally the most annoying battle I've ever had in my entire life. Oh my god. 
have my help. Yeah, that exactly does half. That exactly does half. I think we've used like 30 Ultra Balls by now. At least 30. Maybe 30. Okay. Thank you, Tapu Bulu. I appreciate that. So now we have Cosmog and Tapu Bulu. Let's see what level Cloud goes to. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I wonder what level Kyle evolves. Alright. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Alright. Grass Fairy. It pulls large trees up by the roots and swings them around. It causes vegetation to grow and then it absorbs energy from the growth. No, uh, we're not gonna nickname you. No, I'm not gonna add you to my party either. I don't want you on my party. I'm gonna send you to a box. So there we go. Now we have two of the four Tapus, and we're going to get the other two hopefully soon. I'd like to be able to do it in uh, one episode. I would like to be able to do it in one episode, to be honest. Can I go this way? Yes, I can. All right. I'm actually head over to one of them, right? Actually, I'm going to go heal. I'm going to head over to the next one's location right now, and then we're going to do that next episode. Which one should we do next? We're going to do... We'll do Akala next. Uh, just to be nice. Just to be nice. Because if we do that, go do Akala next, and we save Pony Island, which is the most crazy island for last. And, um, I think we only have one more legendary after the Tapus to catch. Because we already got all the Ultra Beasts. And all the other legendaries in the game have not yet been catchable. Including Magirna, because Magirna, uh, we get the code on December 5th. Oh, and that also reminds me, we have one more Gift Mon here with us. We have one more Gift Pokemon here with us. Oh, wait, I have to freaking clear a spot on my team. Even though I don't know why they can't just give it to you. I really don't. I mean, Cosmog was just given to me. Look how powerful the last section of my box is. All these freaking... These things' IVs are crazy different. Look at his attack stat. My lord. Bro. What is Buzzwool's attack stat? Not freaking Cartana's, for that's for sure. I don't think I have anything with even close to that high of an attack stat. Yeah, no freaking way, dude. That's crazy. Oh well. Oh well. Um, I didn't even put him on away. I didn't even put him on away to get our Munchlax with Snorlium Z. Um, we'll put away... We'll put him away for now. We'll put Guzzlord away for now. Nope, I don't want Tapu Coco out. There we go. There we go. And now... Good morning, blah, 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 blah. Did he say good morning? Did he say good morning? What do you think this is, bruh? Alright. So, much lax is now in the Pokedex. Imagine we got a shiny much lax. It needs to consume its own weight and food every day. As far as flavor is concerned, it's indifferent. Uh, we're gonna name ya. We're gonna name ya. We're gonna name you, um. What are we gonna name you? I don't even know. We're gonna name you Jaws. I don't know why, you're not a shark, but we're gonna name you Jaws. Alright, Jaws has been added to my party. It's not gonna stay there. 
This character is actually kind of, uh, kind of set. It came up as Snorlium Z. Now it's yours. Now we have a Snorlium Z. Snorlium Z. Primary Ice. Just kidding. All right. What level is it? Oh my lord. You are level five. I don't want you. <laughs> Maybe later. All right. What is Guzzlord's defense? Not as high as you'd expect. Oh my lord. Dude, Zerkatry's defense is better. Dude, Cartana's defense is better. Buzzwall, I knew he had high defense. I knew Buzzwall had that high defense. Alright. Um, I kinda I think I'm gonna put Zerkatry back on. Or Zerkatry, I should say. Because Zerkatry has a hypnosis. Zerkatry does have hypnosis, which means our next tapus will be much, much easier. Did I even heal? I did. I did. I remember seeing Cosmog. Alright, guys. Next episode, we are going to go ahead and get Tapu Lele, which is here. And then we have, like, Tapu Fini or something at the very on um, Pony Island. And hopefully, we'll be able to get both of those next episode. Um... And then after that, we're going to go get that last legendary and head towards the battle tree and see where the series goes. We should be nearing the actual finale of the series. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like to show your support. And as always, my name is Cubewack. I am signing out, and I will catch all of you guys next time. Peace!